Witam Was bardzo serdecznie. Na początek wystąpi Kel Santiago. Przyleciała do nas aż z Japonii. Kel jest ewangelistką usługi Amimoto. Jeżeli będziecie zainteresowani tą właśnie usługą, to pamiętajcie, że po konflikt tutaj będą warsztaty. Jeżeli jeszcze nie zaplanowaliście sobie podziałku, to warto się tam pojawić. I Kel opowiedzi o moim zdaniem bardzo ważnym temacie. Pokażę Wam, dlaczego do Waszego biznesu może być tak bardzo ważne dołożenie własnej cegiełki do ekosystemu WordPressa. Kel, do Waszego. So 
let's begin with the first contribution example. Um, we will not go through them one by one, but I will uh, share with you some major contributions to WordPress. Uh, MakeWordPress.core, uh, for contributors who are just starting out, there's what is called a good first buzz. You can also test patches, and when you see a bug, you can create a ticket and make suggestions to uh, the improvement of the software. I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Just like what I do in Japan, I click the wrong buttons. <laughs> When you see a bug, you can create a ticket and help uh, make suggestions to the improvement of the software. So, how does this affect your profession if you contribute to the core? Um, of course, you become uh, familiar with the WordPress coding standards, and this is uh, especially very helpful if you would like to do a uh, WordPress code review kind of uh, uh, business model or service. And it's also very rewarding to see your name on the uh, contributor list and uh, in the end, uh, when they publish the uh, core contributors and you see your name there, it's a very motivating feeling and we all need motivation to help us move forward. Another contribution are plugins. As you can see here on the left, it's uh, Nginx Cache Controller by my colleague uh, Wataru Okamoto. What it does is um, it controls Nginx Cache. And um, the one on the left is Uprev. It's by uh, a well-known community member here, Marcin Piacek. What it does is it displays a very cool animated flyout at the bottom of your screen, and um, it flashes out the related content. So it's very sophisticated, just like New York Times. So when you contribute to the plugins, or when you create plugins, um, you're able to gain the technical trust of the community members and you showcase your skills as a developer. Uh, and besides LinkedIn, WordPress is an extension of your personal profile. Another contributions are themes. The one on the left is uh, WordPress theme directory. Uh, you can upload your themes there and uh, the theme reviewers will um, review it and it will wait for approval. Uh, you can also upload commercial themes because um, sometimes users don't mind paying for something a little extra if they know uh, they have support behind it. And the one on the right, you can also uh, contribute to that. It's called uh, underscore S, which is a WordPress starter theme. The one on the left is uh, called E and Moto. It's from Japan. Uh, this is an underscore S uh, based template. Uh, with run in it, gulp, and sass. And uh, the one on the right is a media assembly kit. Um, it's a modern way of developing uh, themes uh, with a JSON REST API template. So when you create themes, uh, you can gain experience and expand your skills as a designer or as a uh, theme creator. And uh, this is also your uh, professional portfolio. Not only that um, these two benefits, but when you create themes, you're able to uh, meet different kinds of people and different kinds of clients. And this is very good because you know uh, how you can uh, adjust your time and design for a different uh, client need. And I think a bit later on, Kasia uh, Widerska will talk about these kinds of clients. So please wait for that. Uh, number four contributions are localization and globalization. You can join the Polyglot team. Uh, the Polish uh, translation team uh, uh, has a really vast list of contributors. Um, you can help translate WordPress with these uh, other contributors. Uh, when WordPress was localized into Japanese, we were able to understand WordPress even better because it is in our uh, native language. Now, the results are two major breakthroughs. Uh, first, the increase in uh, Japanese uh, developers, Japanese WordPress users, and uh, the increase in Japanese market. 
Now, with a better understanding of WordPress and how it works, uh, its processes, etc., uh, Japanese developers were able to create plugins, uh, such as this one is a multilingual plugin called Bogo, and uh, this even helped further in the uh, mobilization of Japan. So, uh, previously in our company, all our sites and services are in, in Japanese, and then one day we started uh, translating them into English, and um, what happened was we had more uh, foreign users, they understand even better how our service works. And uh, we were able to uh, take our business into a global scale. And uh, uh, on Monday, uh, we will be doing the Amiimoto WordPress on Amazon Web Services to share with you how we uh, increase our revenue and how we put our uh, business into a global scale. Okay, the fifth one is accessibility. You can help make WordPress uh, accessible. Accessible to those with disabilities, uh, accessible in all devices and in all languages. And you can start by, for example, uh, making a subtitle in, in WordPress uh, TV. This photo uh, was taken last uh, June in WordCamp Brisbane, and the speaker here has a deaf interpreter uh, ne next to her, so making WordPress uh, accessible to those with, uh, who need uh, sign language interpretation. By uh, uh, making WordPress accessible, you make uh, the web accessible to all, and you aid in um, you aid in the, uh, the movement of uh, WordPress mission, which is to democratize publishing. The sixth contribution is community. Uh, in Japan, we have a local meetup called Wordbench. It's in every city, like we have this in uh, Wordbench Osaka, Word, Wordbench Kobe, Wordbench uh, Tokyo. And this next, this next word up, uh, word, uh, local WordPress meetup, will make you hungry because uh, what we do is, uh, in WordCrowd, we uh, talk about WordPress and afterwards we uh, will eat the crowd. So maybe next time we can do here something like a word vodka, probably. <laughs> it's just an idea. <laughs> Alright, now this next one is the, my most difficult slide because I had to learn the Polsky alphabet for this. We have Word Up Wuj by uh, Mace Chakla and Thomas Juda, and uh, Word Up Torun by Katagina Bianchi, sorry, <laughs> and Kuba <laughs> Mikita. Uh, next, uh, we have Word Up Lovelin by, uh, organized by Isabella Karkoha, Shimon Skulimovsky, Stanislav <laughs> Stolimovsky and uh, Piotr Bieletsky. Did I get it right? All right. Uh, next, Word Up Silesia by David and Agnieszka Schwedt, Katarzyna uh, Kordek, and Barbara Wischke. It doesn't stop there. Uh, we still have more. Uh, Word Up Tree City by Marius, Marius Chatkowski, Piotr Sharmak, and Rafael Oshinsky. Of course, Word Up Rosa, organized by uh, Kasia Schwiderska, uh, Christoph Druj, Druj, <laughs> Druj, and Marcin Ilarski. And, uh, oh my goodness, one second. I need to find my. Uh, Note for this. Uh, Arkadius Steplowski. I need help with this. <laughs> so say their name. Can you help me with the. Um, I need to go. I'm sorry, I, 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 uh, I lost my uh, notes for this. Uh, folks, but uh, please make sure to catch up with them later on 
and uh, you can ask them about uh, Word, Word App and how you can start with WordPress in your city. Um, there's, there goes Marcin um, Piercek and the uh, Word App Campo organized by uh, Katarzyna Carlos Visolska <laughs> and Marcin Bulak. And of course, you can always add your like add your uh, work up in your city. Now, uh, contributing to the community, um, you help increase the number of WordPress users, and not only that, you help increase the uh, the growth of the Polish uh, market. And uh, your interpersonal skills, the way you interact with people, uh, the way you uh, communicate with each other, uh, is really helpful for your professional growth. Uh, seventh is design. Um, Steve Jobs said uh, design is a funny word because to some people it's about uh, the way it looks, but truthfully, uh, if you dig deeper, it's about the way it works. Uh, here, uh, the, the, the word up, uh, word on top of design was by Katarzyna uh, Wysotska and uh, the other elements I, I, by Amanda Dilmanska. Of course, it doesn't stop there. You can design all the WordPress theme, themes. Uh, with your design, you can help uh, other designers and other agencies be aware of your uh, uh, design skills. And you can also empower users and uh, move them with your work of art. Eight is volunteering. You can help volunteer in word, up, word ups and word camps. These are normally uh, big events, so the organizers definitely need an extra hand. Another way to uh, to volunteers by taking photographs, just like uh, what Wojtek Gorgonek is doing. And uh, volunteering time by speaking in uh, word camps and word ups. Community spirit, when you uh, contribute, it shows your community spirit, and it lets you inspire others with your knowledge and story, and increase the, the network of your friends. Other WordPress contributions, uh, you can create books like this one, WordPress related books, all the way from Japan. And you can make blogs, tutorials, and tips. Uh, check these out, judek.pl and wpzen. And uh, BCCW, my colleague Takayuki Miyamichi developed this. It's a uh, uh, WordPress development environment. Very cool, very fantastic and sophisticated. Uh, you can check it out. It's vagrant based. We're down to the summary. Uh, when you contribute to WordPress, it's, uh, it shows not only shows your community spirit, but um, uh, your talents as well. And uh, when you contribute to WordPress, uh, you learn about the culture, which is very important on how new innovations come to life. And um, the community contributing to WordPress uh, lets you learn about the most important thing, which is uh, the value of sharing. And after all, WordPress is about the people, and our strong community of WordPress is the, the solid foundation of it all. Now finally, fear no obstacles because obstacles are always there. And we can always be inspired by the beautiful story of uh, Wojtek the soldier bear. Even he's not human, he was still able to lend his extra boss to the uh, Polish army. And the uh, developer or not, uh, human, bear or human, uh, we can still uh, uh, help on you. And uh, when it comes to WordPress, uh, don't be afraid to contribute because uh, anything that we do is, has a big impact. And when it comes to WordPress, there is no such thing as a small contribution. I am Kael Santiago of Digital Cube, and thank you for listening to my talk, and welcome to WordCamp Polska.
Ok, słuchajcie, y, następna prezentacja o 10.35, także chwilka przerwy. Ok, bo jeszcze takich wiadomości lekko ogarniających. Na zewnątrz pojedę właśnie tak, po lewej macie kawę, to jest taka sobie zajebista, kraje pałę. Po prawej stronie macie troszeczkę jedzenia.